Hello, trade tastic tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Might Magic 8 with me, Blue Inkilo. So, between episodes and days, I've uh, double checked where the various trading voucher type guys are. Well, trading merchants. Uh, I am standing outside one of the buildings right now. These guys will buy forged credit vouchers and sell silver dust. And there's another one in Ravenshore up here, which we will go fly over to, because flying is pretty fun, and it's easier than walking around all these buildings. So, uh, now that we can fly in Town Portal, it's just much better for getting around uh, this guy over here. So, this is the Tolbursk Pulp thing. So, the other thing I did off-camera, just to save a little bit of time today, of course, um, is I visited uh, the town, the, the fountain in Alvar I just forgot to click on. So we can now actually town portal between all these areas. Uh, I looked it up. There is no town portal into the, the, the desert or the Garrod Gorge or the Murmur Woods. There is one over here, although we must have missed it. And I believe there's one here as well, although we can't even get there yet, as far as I know. So um, that's fine. Um, so what I want to do right now is show you kind of the trading. There's, there's, I think there's three different supply chains of trading, if that's what you want to do. I'm going to start with the Tobursk stuff, although I don't think it's really going to make a lot of money. Uh, Tobursk Trader, again, I put the little note down so I could find them quicker for you guys, because I'm cool. Alright, so, we can buy Tobursk Fruit here and sell Brandy. We'll do one full cycle just to show you what it's like. So let's buy, like, as much as we can. We might have, like, one too many at the end here. But we're spending lots of money on Tobursk Fruit, so I don't know. What did we start with? Like 10,000 gold? Something like that? Spent all of our money. There's no more space. I have no more Sorry. room. No, no room. room. Now we have no room. Oh, oh, oh. Oops. Uh, I don't even know how to put this down. Okay, there we go. So, okay, oops. <laughs> I actually bought so much stuff there's not even room for- Oh, that's right! I, mean, I forgot about that. I was gonna clean up my inventory first before we get started today. <laughs> Good work, Blue. Okay, let's see if I can, uh... I have no idea. We, we need to sell... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold, uh, hold the horses. <laughs> Just put that hat down. Alright. Okay, first off, let's go sell some stuff. <laughs> Oops. I thought it would stop buying once we, uh... <laughs> once we hit the limit. Once the inventory I'm limit. Relics and curios. Okay, let's just pay to get the stuff identified. Or whatever. This is the, uh... This is for gemstones. Uh, the wand, the hat, gemstones, jewelry, get rid of all that. I could probably identify these, but whatever. Alright, a little bit more room there. Gotta find the weapon and armor shop quick. Weapons and armor that way, okay. It's been a really long time since I've been in this town, so... I'm not super familiar with all the stuff. All the, all the stores. Alright, getting some space. <laughs> I, I, sorry, I thought I was already... These are the, the town center fountains you have to click on, by the way, if you're trying to do uh, the town portals. Don't forget, basically, when you're traveling around. I think I walked right by it. Didn't even notice. We got your gear. Okay, I could probably sell that book as well. So, is there anything else anyone has that I should get rid of? Like this? And this? Let me clean up my inventory a little bit better. I, I am horrible at inventory management. I uh, I am aware. Okay. Let's just oops, give these to someone who has got a little bit of inventory space. <laughs> I love doing inventory management on screen. That's my favorite thing to do. In case you're wondering. All right, everyone's good. Okay, let's sell the boots, the book, the this the uh, bow. boots. I could identify all this stuff, but, uh, honestly, if this, if, if my plan for today works, we'll have lots of money. So worrying about a little bit here and there shouldn't matter. I'm also not 100% sure if, uh, I don't think your merchant skill would actually, I wonder if nobody even buys books, to be honest. I don't care. Um, if, if everything works out, we should have lots of money, and I don't think that um, your merchant skill would apply. Alright, so we've we've loaded up, we've got 
you know, there's still some room, I guess. Let's buy, like, maybe six more. Um, I've got a little bit of money, I guess. Oh, maybe I bought all he had. Oops, I didn't actually know if there was a limit. Okay, cool. Apparently there is a limit to how much he'll even sell you. Anyway, point is, we don't have to worry about walking or, or swimming or taking a boat. We can just use Town Portal to go here. Uh, the brandy shop. The next step. Well, we picked up all that fruit. Now we need to change the pulp into whatever the next one is. So we go here. We're going to sell all the pulp and buy fruit. Sell all the fruit. We got a lot of fruit. We should have made... I don't know how much money we'll have made exactly, but... So we made maybe 50% profit on whatever we could store. About 5,000 per trip. And then we load up on this stuff. Now, it does seem like once you leave the house, like maybe he'll run out of pulp or something. So we'll buy as much as we can. Yeah. Apparently there is like a limit to how much you can trade. I, I didn't know about that. These are a little bit smaller, so it's a little bit easier. The next stop, I'm pretty sure, is an Alvar. So it's... For the, the, the Tobersk tree, it's Dagger Wound, Ravenshore, Alvar. You could have, we could have done this earlier if we'd, uh, I think it's down here. Yeah, Tobersk.trade. Uh, we could have done this earlier just by, um, you know, taking caravans or just walking and with boats and stuff. But, um, I think this is much more efficient with the, uh, the town portal spell. I just want to try it out. One, one full cycle, basically. I just want to see. Uh, I think it's this house? All right. Sell all of our pulp. Again, we should have made some amount of profit. I don't know exactly how much. So that would be break even. We made another 6,000 or so, another good profit. Now we'll switch that up to as much brandy as we can hold. So this might be a slightly more efficient if you had more money to start with and also more inventory space. Like if you just, I don't know where you'd want to put your stuff, but if you just cleared everything out, then you could just load everybody up, like perfect merchants, basically. And then we're just going to complete the cycle by going back to Dagger Wound Island. Uh, we're still flying, that's interesting. Town portaled into the air. I actually didn't know that would happen. Uh, this way. Also, being able to fly does certainly speed this up, I would say. And then we'll sell all the brandy, but we're not going to buy any fruit this time. Just, I want to see what one full cycle is worth. We started with something around 10,000 gold. So, we more than doubled, I would say. That was pretty good. And we could have done more if we had, like, proper inventory space, I think. Well, no, because I spent all my gold at the beginning. We, we spent all of our gold at every step. Okay, good. So, that's one done. Now, there is uh, a couple other trains or, or trees of uh, trade. Trees, I don't know what I'm talking about. What the heck is... Seriously, Alias? Three fails in a row? Um... There's at least two chains. That that would be the word I'm looking for. We're looking for these ones over here. The little red dots. So, in this in this one, we have two options. We have the silver sea dust, silver dust of the sea, and ground wavernhorn. We actually know where this is in Ravenshore, and then the next step is in the uh, the troll place. Or sorry, not the troll place. The Minotaur place. The ogres and minotaurs. So we will do that one, and then this one, the pirate amulets and the heartwood, we can buy heartwood in the murmurwood, and I'm pretty sure we can only sell the pirate amulets in that uh, island we can't get to yet. So this is like the third tree, or the third chain, but we can't really do the full one just yet. We could get heartwood and sell it here, but eh. Um, but I want to do this this uh, tree at least once, this chain. I don't know why I'm struggling with my words so much. So these things are far more expensive, unfortunately. They're so much bigger. That's kind of why I saved this one for last. So these things are pretty big, yeah. Definitely want some inventory space if we're going to run that. Also, um, before we go, I'm pretty sure the quickest way to restore mana is just to pay 40 gold and do that. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There we go. Ravenshore. And this one is right there. I, I did try to make sure I knew where I was going for today so we wouldn't have to wait waste so much time. So now we can sell the Silver Dust of the Sea. We had 24,000. We made 5,000 gold. So this would be a better, more profitable one, assuming you start with a good amount of money. 
And then the credit vouchers are pretty small. That's nice. Um, yeah, they're really nice and compact. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually have the, um, the portal here. Although, I'm going to go try to find it. So, let's... Uh, how do we get there? Oh, I remember looking this up, too. The easiest way to get to... I think it's ra raging something? Ravaging something? Is to take one of these boats on, like, a Monday or a Friday. I think it's the smuggler boat and not the... The, uh, Dauntless. The Dauntless is the Dagger Boond... This is like the normal areas. I'm pretty sure this one on Mondays or a Friday will take me where I want to go. I don't know what day it is of the of the week. Oddly enough, it just shows you like month day of the month rather than day of the week. Shadow Spire and correct. Wrong day again. So this is you know we're not making great. Um, use of our time here, really. We're wasting quite a few days to travel. There we go. Ravage Roaming, that's the name. Once we get a town portal over here, then we can do this one. And and the way I was thinking was, before I do the other tree, the one that goes um, Shadow Spire, Island, and Murmur Woods, I want to have Lloyd's Beacon, so I can just plop one down there, and then we can just teleport between those three areas. Uh, we don't have our flight. Pretty sure it was the one on top of the hill here. And we can sell the credit vouchers. So we certainly made some money. We need, I think we need a larger stockpile to start with. But um, we can pick up some wyvern, ground wyvern horn. They're again quite large. No more There's no more space. But we'll, we'll sell those back in, um, in Shadow Spire in a minute. And we'll see how much money we make for the full trip. While I'm here though, I want to see if I can find... I think it's like right in there actually. I think we almost made it far enough to find where the town portal was. I had a quick look on the map because town portals are important. Also, let's quick save it in case we get killed by Gorgons here. Or just fly, you know, that works. I'm not going to explore this area really yet. This is a little bit too high a level area for my taste. What are those over there? More Gorgons. Maybe this is the entrance I'm looking for? Alright. The Minotaur City. So, remember when I came here I said there has to be a town for, for Minotaurs? We found the Troll Town, Knights, Dragons, Clerics, Necromancers, Dark Elves, and Vampires. Like, we've got all the races except the Minotaur. Now, we don't have a Minotaur, but, you know, we've, we've kind of found the city for each of them. The, the little town we saw here in Ravage Roaming was actually like ogres, technically. This is the Minotaur City, I think. Let's go in. Tell me, tell me they're not evil. Right? I didn't really want to fight stuff. No, those are bad. Well, okay, we'll, we'll fight whatever these are. I thought I thought this place would be friendly. But what are these things? Triton warriors. We're actually kind of sliding down here. Oh, they're pretty tough. Well, let's see if we're strong enough to fight these guys and get into this Minotaur city. Let's, um... I don't know. I don't know what we're getting into here. Bless up, at least. All right, Schminchkin. Good, sh good start. Um, I wonder if the uh, Toxic Cloud is my most mana efficient damage dealer right now. Need a, enough points into that. Once we get enough points into into Dark, that will definitely be our best spell, I think. Alright, one down. This guy's a little bit weaker, so nothing to worry about. I think he tried to poke somebody, but he failed. Now he's running away. Good work, Elias! See, even the Necromancer, who's not very skilled with the bow, they can figure it out. Okay, we basically slid down the ramp, we're here. I wasn't expecting a fight, actually. I thought we would just be able to, uh, sneak into this Minotaur land. See, this, this is actually a, a town, right? So, hello, Minotaurs. Apparently, they're having a flood. It actually does look like they're having a flood. The waters came. A great wave as high as my head flooded through the passages. So, on one area of the world, we have fire coming out of nowhere. In this part of the world, we're getting water coming out of nowhere. Hmm. Coincidence? 
Mini Predators. Hmm, Zog's Patrol. Sounds like the Ogre Mage is up to trouble again. Maybe he's like, turns out to be one of the big bad guys for this, this game. Alright, mini levels. I actually don't want to clear this place out. I just want to visit, you know, the, the Minotaurs. Drain them using doors and vents. Sure, I'll help you guys out eventually. Guess we could have him join up too. Alright, we'll, we'll look around this place a little bit. I'm not really interested in clearing out a big dungeon. I'm looking for... what's supposed to be a town portal down here somewhere. I don't really know what that means. We've got like an A and a 1. Hmm. Did that drain it out or something? Oh, okay! Oh boy, there's a lot of them in here. Are we still... We're still, uh... We're still blessed. I think that's the star, so that's good. Let's throw in some heroism. I've never seen one. What is it? I don't have... Yeah, you know, shrap metal will work really good here. I shouldn't use too many expensive, uh... Spells, though. I don't know how dangerous this will be. Now, water... These are, like, water monsters. They should be fairly weak to fire, you would kind of think. Didn't seem to do a whole lot. I'm not terribly worried, though. I think these guys are kind of chumps. Oh, you know what this is? This is time for a flame blast. Did you just hit the party, Schminchkin? We were too close to the... We were too far back. That was very disappointing. All right, well, Ali has managed to not burn the party to death. That's good. Schminchkin, you got to be careful with that flame, basically. I don't know. Try it one more time. All right, that's a little bit better. I wish I knew. These guys might be tough. I don't know. Let's throw in uh, some big spells here. Toxic cloud. I've never seen one. Never seen that. Before. Never seen the Titan Crusader never before. Seen one. Neither have I. Definitely want to make sure he dies. I've never seen I'm not convinced that Shrap Metal is better than Toxic Cloud yet. Oh, I forgot to switch Galleon back to his other spear, I think. What is it? Wow, there's some damage. Good stuff. Yes, you too, Schminchkin. All right, we're not fighting the undead at the moment. Switch back to a little bit higher damage and chance to hit. Nah, these guys are pretty chummy. I mean, they they can hurt a little bit, sure. All right, we got him. All right. I'm just trying to find a town portal, guys. Just one little thing. There's another one coming up. There's a bunch of them down there. This this place may be larger than I was expecting. Oh. This is what I get for, like, half looking up where to go. I know that something I'm looking for is down here. Minotaur houses as well as um, town portals and stuff. Right now, all this is just a flooded minotaur lair. It's good that they've got pumps here, though. I mean, they they invested well into their homeland. I assume one of these isn't less flooded now. There we go. Well, Schminchkin, this looks like a really good opportunity. There you go. Good job, buddy. We'll uh, help out with some more fireballs too. Never seen that. Maybe one more flame blast. Yeah, that's the stuff. Thank you for the AOE. They were just little guys, but nice to just murderize them. <clears throat> cool. <clears throat> Finding stuff just lying around. Hmm. <laughs> this Minotaur den does not look very prompting. Alright, well, I get the feeling 
this may be like we actually have to finish this dungeon a little bit more before we can um, can actually do what I want to do. I don't want to I don't want to clear out a whole dungeon at this exact moment. I've got other stuff I want to do. We'll come back here later on. I'm pretty sure you can cast that in here, can't you? Maybe you can only cast that. Yeah, maybe you can only cast that on the world map. I'm pretty sure you can use Lloyd's Beacon from inside, though. This looks like a relatively co this is this is the water temple of uh, of Might and Magic Eight. Almost certainly, this is the water temple, raising and lowering the water levels. Come on, let's go. Yeah, we're we're good. All right. Anyway, let's just finish up the trading thing that I was trying to show you guys. We can't teleport back there yet because I didn't get far enough to find the fountain, but that's okay. So we'll go back. Go back on double speed. I think it was this house. No, this house. All right. So let's see how much we make. I think we started with twenty thousand, so we almost doubled it. I think if we'd had more money, we could definitely made a, a pretty good profit. Could have. <clears throat> Got some garbage to sell. You know what? I don't want him. Inventory management is just too much of a pain right now. We'll sell rings and stuff because they're little. Alright, I don't suppose we got enough for a level up or anything weird. No. Still got a ways to go. Okay, good. So, on um, the grand scheme of things, what should we be doing? We have main quests in the Iron Sand. Last episode I was trying to clear this place out, and you know what? I think we'll finish doing that. That seems like a reasonable job. We've done a lot of this area already. Let's just finish it up. And you know what? We'll just spend a little bit of money there. And we can still fly. Okay, quick save. And... Looks like I've cleared out like almost three quarters of it. So we'll go north of town, see if there's anything over there. And then we'll be good. Maybe not on double speed all the time when we're fighting. Oh, did our boon wear off? Must have. Alright, so these guys, we're just gonna waffle stomp. Because that's how we roll. They're not that tough. The old flanking maneuver, come at them from an angle, and then melee them to death. Alright, good work, team. So I know I am getting quite a few of our uh, random crossbows that I forget to sell from these things, but... Doesn't look like you can loot the skeletons. There's too many skeletons on the ground to really have them be a lootable item. Alright. That's dealt with. I suppose you can see... These are blue. Oh no, it's that. Obsidian, that was... On the, on the little world map, assuming you guys can zoom in. Sort of over there, if you can see that. There are, it does show you where there's items on the ground. And I'm kind of looking for a few more reagents, because, uh... We need some for a couple potion quests. I think there's a personality potion, and... Maybe an accuracy potion that we haven't built yet? Alright, what's over here? This is not skeletal dragons, so I'm feeling like we're okay. Oh, hold on. Vampires. I don't know. Now remember to be careful with Tashi. Don't let her get killed by vampires. That's <laughs> in that guy flying. I like that. We'll just go mana efficient for a bit here. Uh oh. I see those in the distance. You guys see those back there? I've seen that before. I see it. Oh, I forgot like blessing and stuff. I don't know. Do we need it? Is it? We are missing a lot of shots. Let's 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 throw on the bless. It's plus nine accuracy. Eh, it's all right. It's not the be all end all, but it doesn't hurt. All right. Melee mode. Alright, good work. Let's just uh, jump in there and kill these guys quick. I actually didn't kill that one by accident. That was 
Easy. Or that one behind me? I was trying not to hold still because I'm worried about the dragons. That one's got away. Alright, let's uh let's make sure everyone's healthy here. I'm a little bit concerned about what we're gonna run into up there. A little bit. Are you guys concerned? Alright, let's kill ourselves some skeletal dragons. Maybe the occasional vampire minion. I've never Let's also heroic up it up. Uh-oh. Schminchkin, something's wrong! What's wrong with you? You're afraid. Why would you be afraid? I mean, there are some skeletal dragons over there, I'll admit it. Uh, I think we actually have the spell for that, though. Remove fear. Don't worry, Schminchkin. You're a good dragon. You're okay. Okay, I want to go a little bit away from... I want to I want to kill these vampires, but I don't want to have to be getting shot by the dragons at I the same time. Know. I know it's a skeletal or a greater vampire. I can definitely tell. I wonder if I should. No, the light bolt's the best because they are undead, so it's at least double damage. What do you know? These guys are pretty tough. Hey, what are you doing in the water, vampire? Nice, Tashi. Good work there. Alright, not worried about just one minion. Good! Alright. So I'm thinking it's time for our real dragon to fight a skeletal dragon. Put down a quick save, because you never know what's going to happen with these things. I'm not sure if we should fight at ranged or not. They appear to like ranged combat themselves. I'd like to lure out any more melee enemies to come chase us if I could but I feel like we probably got them all by now how's the map we'll, f we'll go over to the west of the map just to make sure I don't want to be surprised also pick up some corps corpses all right I think all there is is dragons so yeah you know let's just try to stay at range I guess we're not gonna do very much damage I just, I feel like if I run up into the middle of it, we're going to be fighting too many at once. I'm, I'm hoping that we could kill one or two, but... If you, if you actually have to fight, like, all 20 at the same time. Alright, this is going to be, like, two. Can we even hit them here? Yeah, we can definitely hit them from this far away. Never seen that before. Good work, Schmidgekin. They don't actually seem to have a whole lot of HP. They're hard to target though, because they're right far. They're, they're pretty far away. All right, no problem. That guy got just wrecked. Get wrecked, as they say. Come on, Alias. You can target this guy. Right there, I can see him. <laughs> Pixel clicking with me blowing it. Okay, a little bit closer. Yeah. Most of the time, you can just press quick attack, but uh, with spells, sometimes you have to target. Although I can, I think, register a spell. As a quick spell. Yes. Yes. I think. And that will let her, instead of using her range, we'll use Acid Burst as a quick attack. Which is bad for your spell points if you're not careful, but good for being quick. Uh, are you afraid? Are you afraid, Alias? Why would you be afraid? You just killed that dragon. No problems, right? I'm glad we've got Remove Fear already. We're, we're definitely going to want to get master tier self magic so I can get remove insanity and all the rest of them pretty quickly. Because, I don't know when, but, you know, it, it won't be that long before the enemy starts getting uh, all kinds of nasty debuffs they can throw on us. Okay, let's, uh, I'm feeling pretty confident here. Let's get on up here. 
Yeah, they don't have a lot of HP. That's that's the main thing here. Get up close. Alright, got another one. Let's fly. Seeing as we can fly as well, that's a pretty significant advantage. Okay, this one... Oh, this is much stronger than the other one. This undead as opposed to skeletal. I don't know. It's another one of those. But they don't seem to be doing enough damage to actually cause a problem. So, we're doing really good. Oh, you've been cursed! Ah, uh, that was the wrong spell. Do we have that? Yeah, we got remove curse. Bam. Nice. Well, we're killing dragons. Now, I believe that skeletal dragons are the weakest of the dragons. Uh, if I remember my lore for this game. I think. I actually played the, uh, the Heroes of Might and Magic game that is based on this world a lot more. Um, I'm going to mess up the numbers, but for six, Might and Magic 6, 7, and 8, they match up to Heroes 2, 3, and 4, I think. But I, I could be messing up my, my numbers, so forgive me if I'm wrong. Okay, let's take this guy that's kind of on the edge first. Victory. You're, you guys are alright, don't worry, don't worry. Let's pause it here, let's, let's be smart. I've never seen one. Oh, you're a little bit freaky out there. What is it? Okay, what, what is your problem? You're afraid, we can fix that. I like to fix these as soon as they happen, basically. The longer you wait, depending on the uh, the ability, it's, it's more difficult to heal. Yeah, look at that damage. Alright, there's another one over there somewhere. Thank you for telling me. Oh, we've used up all of uh, Aliaz's spell points because I've been using her acid on quick attack. But I think it was worth having a spell on quick attack for this this encounter, basically. Aliaz, you're a little insane. Uh oh. Well, that's not a uh, an ability a debuff that we can actually get rid of. Um, it's pretty brutal on your insanity, or sorry, on your in intellect. It's interesting though. Um, insane actually works pretty well on a pure melee fighter because you get lots of might, endurance, and speed. And you only lose out on intellect and personality. So you look a little crazy, but it, it would actually make Galleon a slightly better fighter. So we'll have to consider, you know, maybe leaving him a little bit insane for one day just to sh show it off. <laughs> I think that'll be fun. On the other hand, I also think we may have cleared this area out. I don't think I want to go in here yet. If it's guarded by skeletal dragons, who knows just what kind of horrors will await us. The mad necromancer's lab. Yeah, if it's guarded by flying skeletal dragons, it's probably a pretty dangerous area. I'm just going to have to assume. There's a few left, though. Let's go kill these guys. And then we can say we've cleared this map. At least the... Uh... Oh, look! One of these things. I think maybe we already did a challenge of might somewhere. It is defeated. These guys really don't seem that tough. This is skeleton. Yeah, the undead ones, the ones that say undead dragon, are a little bit stronger. Oh, that was off the map. Cheese skates. I mean, I don't know, what do you guys think? It's not just Schminchkin carrying us. Um, Galleon and Christine are doing just as much damage as he is in, in melee. And although uh, Aliaz has burned through all of her spell points, when she had Acid Burst, she was probably doing some of the most DPS. Well, that's not bad. So, okay, sure, the ability to fly made it a little bit easier. But we could have Master Air Magic by now if I wanted, and that would be the equivalent of Dragon Flight. It's just really cool to fly around on a dragon. Alright, this guy's on screen, on the map this time. Give me some more dragon corpses. Oops. Probably making pretty good money here, overall. Lots of rare, possibly rare items. I know in um, 
the previous Might and Magic games, the dragons and titans tended to drop the best loot, including artifacts. Anyway, I think we've we've secured this zone for the the good of all. I think the place I'm going to go to next is Alvar, because it's not that high of a level area, and I think, unfortunately, Galleon, I think it's time to go into that wasp nest, because I think that's a fairly low low level area, and I want to clear out the low level areas before we focus too much on you know, dragons and stuff. Alright, welcome back to town. Let's, uh, let's go get Aliaz cured up. Because... I'm sure we can cure. There you go. In fact, rather than resting, this is quicker. You don't have to recast flight. <laughs> um, so, the weapon shops and armor shops are over here. We can probably get some level ups, yeah. We got quite a lot of experience out of that. Although, not enough for Tashi, so everyone's caught up with her, basically. So, what am I thinking? I'm thinking inventory. Let's get everything identified. See if we got anything amazing. <clears throat> we didn't really get anything amazing. We didn't really get a whole lot at all, really. We got a couple crossbows from the archers and a couple amulets and a ring. Or we already had the ring, I think. Oh, right, we have this uh, 14 armor class gauntlet. Um, eh, doesn't seem that good to me. Dude. Sell it. We should check if there's anything good to buy while we're here. You never know when we're going to find something that's better. I mean, Intellect Helm? Eh. I think I've mentioned enough by now that the attributes don't really work out. Oh, I did look it up, though. Oh, right. I should, I should explain that. I forgot to mention. So I looked up the breakpoints for all of the attributes because I was curious, you know, exactly where the numbers work out. And I'm if, I, if I'm remembering correctly... Up until 21, you will get a plus one value for whatever the stat affects. Now, it's a little bit more complicated for HP and spell points, the intellect, personality, endurance, because there's also a class multiplier. So every two points in endurance up to 21 will give you a plus one HP value. But that plus one is multiplied by another value for your class. So a necromancer, it's not, it may be multiplied by two or something. And knight, it's maybe multiplied by eight or something. And if you get promoted, it's multiplied by even more, which is why specifically Tashi has so much HP, because she's already um, a priest of the sun. So once everyone is in their promoted class, they will have better multipliers for their spell points and HP. So up to 21, it's every two points. Then there's another point at 25. After that, it's every five points up until 50, I think. It's, uh, I, I can't remember the numbers exactly, but it's... Every, it's like 25, 30, 35, 40, and then I think it's 50, and then I'm pretty sure it goes right into 50, 75, every 25 points up to like, it's like up to 150, so it goes 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, and then the next break points are every 50, so 200, 250, 300, and then it's every 100 points, except that the last two break points, 400 and 500, give you plus five bonus value instead of plus one. The problem is, once you're really past 25 or 50, 50 is, I would say like 25 is the soft cap, the, the first soft cap, and then 50 is the next one. Once you're above about 50, you're not going to get a whole lot more. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be every 10 points or, or, or every 25 points pretty quickly. I forget the exact numbers, but that's approximately how it goes. So that's why early on, up to the 20s, it's good. No problem, but after that, it's... Yeah. I wouldn't get too worried about it, really. Any special items? We've already got one of those. 2D3... I think that might be a better dagger, actually. Let's have a look here. Yeah, 2D3 plus 6. That's an upgrade. Sometimes I get lazy and I stop checking shops for actual weapon upgrades. So there you go, Tashi. Plus, it's a really cool-looking dagger. Look at that. A Cree. I think it's pronounced Cree, right? It's not Chris. Alright, now we got to remember where the uh, accessory shop is. Which is... Did I ever write it down? Of course not. I'm pretty sure it's on uh, Merchant Row here, but... 
Weapons? I think... The Blood Bank? Seriously? <laughs> um... Oh, there's one more thing we could do, actually. We've got a bit of money right now. We could probably get some more level training. Some more skill training. Yeah, we'll do that for the rest of this episode. We'll probably go to Alvar next time. Just trying to remember where the... Yeah, this is it. Oh, no, it's not. Well, it's actually worth checking out. We've got a bit of money. Shrinking Ray, Reanimate, Soul Drinker... Armageddon! Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! That sounds good. Uh, Dragon's Breath would be amazing. It's pretty expensive. Ten grand. I'm not ready to, like, put down that much money just yet. I'm pretty happy with the dark magic we've got at this second. Where am I looking for? Master... Where we got that? Um... Pretty sure I checked all the chests here. I hate it when I, I miss some of these. I know I probably missed one or two, and I'm sure I've missed a couple barrels as well, if anyone's pointing out, oh, behind this house, you know, surprise. <laughs> yeah, surprise. I should have double-checked who needs speed, but I should try to get everyone to 25 at least, basically. And that was the right person, so good. <laughs> I can't believe there was a, potion, a barrel right there. My point is, I've obviously missed a few. <laughs> I try to get them all, but I think it would take too long just to, to double check every single town all over the place constantly. Alright. So, let's have a quick look at what skills need to be trained up. I never actually looked at this guy's animation. This guy's pretty cool. Teach me, Master. Alright, so, I'm pretty sure we need, like, Dark Master? Yeah. So, while we're here, I'm pretty sure that's in this town. Next level up, which we should also get right now. Let's go do that. I'm pretty sure we've got enough money for the training. Train yeah. Very good. Very good. Alright, good. So everyone's level 9, or sorry, level 18. We're going to go pick up Meditation Master for more spell points, because that's really the limiting factor on Aliaz. And we're going to go get Dark Master. Schminchkin, I was going to get you Meditation Expert. And then I think it's time to go identify Monster. I mean, learning would be nice too, but... I know some people would like to see Identify Monster. But learning would would get you more experience in the long run. <laughs> oh well, we'll go with Identify. I don't think we need bodybuilding just yet. Uh, Christina, you need Sword Expert and Bow Dagger Master. Oh man, I got a lot of trainers to go find. I'm considering Merchant Master soon. Yeah, okay, we'll go for Merchant Master. Tashi did not get a level up yet, and Galleon, you need Sword Expert, I've got you Arms Master. I'm pretty sure we were working on just getting Sword up to Master so we can start dual wielding. Because it's it's definitely time. We're kicking butt, and we need to kick butt even more. And imagine how big his damage will be once he can equip a sword as well. I mean, there's lots, there's lots of good skills, but yeah. Alright, so, remind me, Sword Expert... Light Expert. How come I never... Oh, I didn't have enough money for that. Right. Light Expert. Chain Expert. Sword Expert times two. Bow Dagger Master. Man, there's a lot of skills. Dark Master should be here somewhere. We've got Dragon Master, Perception Master. Should probably get Identify Item Master. But, okay, let's have a quick look around and see. Nope. Yes. Let's go there right now. Alright. Four grand. Level seven dark magic. Bam. So that does mean that uh, for one hand some dark spells will be a little bit better. Faster recovery rate and so on. Um, almost up to permanent vampiric weapons. And more shrap metal fragments. We'll also be able to learn more dark magic. Is there any master stuff that I'd really like to have? Shrinking Ray. You know, we'll pick this up. It's not... Well, no, no. I've got a lot of training to do. We'll, we'll worry about picking up spells later on, like, you know, amazing stuff like that. But, um, because I want to get a lot of skills leveled up, I want to I wanna spend my money on that. Alright, let's look back. See whether there's anything else. Perception, shield, vampire. I 
identify. Okay, I think that covers like all of the skills they sell, they train here. Let's uh, let's go back to like Ravenshore. Ravenshore is a really good place for training, it seems. It's like the biggest town. All right, zoom in a little bit. I'm not ready for that. There we go, sword. Two people needed expert sword. Let's go do that. Hello, Lau Luoldrin. Wait a second, isn't this the one we're looking for? The name sounds very familiar, even this is, even if this is not, stri strictly speaking, one of the persons we need for a quest. Alright, expert sword, expert sword. That should make Christina a little bit better. Uh, what is expert sword effect? Recovery time. So I think that should have lowered her recovery time. Yeah. Yeah, with just the dagger... It's, I think it's based on whatever weapon is in your main hand for your recovery time. Yeah, she'd actually be... It, it's probably better to go dagger, main hand, sword, offhand. Because then it's based on the dagger's recovery speed rather than the sword's. <laughs> I think that's probably just a, a sort of a... Not a bug, but it's a, a gameplay mechanic that wasn't really fully fleshed out. It should probably average or even add up the two weapon speeds together, but... Uh, Daggers tend to be quicker, just by nature. Alright, so we've got sword experts next up. No, we don't need those. We do need that. I don't know if we're going to have enough money to actually train everything up. Maybe I should have done some more trading quests. But, uh... Oops, this is the wrong one. One more over. There we go. Dega Master. That'll be nice. So, I believe the way this will work is now you have a 7% chance to cause triple damage. And it's not just the dagger damage that's tripled. It'll be this tripled. So, every now and then we're going to see Christina really rock the damage. And she is actually more accurate than uh, Galleon is. That's pretty cool. Merchant. We are going to work on that. Do we have Master Dark Elf ready? No. Oh, that's right, because it's just blind. Yeah. I'm not sure how good blind will be, so that's why I'm not rushing for this, Christina. We'll get that eventually. Fire. Meditation. That's another one we need. I'm so glad that they auto-tabulate. They should have just auto-map-marked, -map like, everything. Um, all the stuff. That's really cheap. Good deal. So, Schminchkin, you now have a little bit larger spell point pool. You've got more than our Necromancer, which is pretty crazy. I wonder if I can... No, I want I want to I want to get rid of the Select a spell then quick I like I don't want any quick spell right now. Okay, we got it. I just, you just have to like double click it or something to get rid of it. Master plate is going to take a little while. Master axe, repair. Master bow we need. Expert light we need. Alright. Double the fun. Schminchkin, get us over there double time. I like being able to find all these trainers so quickly. This is much better. So Might Magic 8, I'm pretty sure this is the first game that added the, the map markers like that. The auto map markers anyway. I don't think that was the the the, uh, the patch, the gray face patch that I put in. Uh, maybe it was, but still, really, really good idea. Whoever Whoever put that in, that was smart. I, uh, I know I looked it up on the map a minute ago. <laughs> there we go. Master Bow. Big money. And also, there's something else, I'm sure. Expert Light. Yeah, that's the stuff. Really good. Okay, so... We're definitely rushing for ma Master Light. Expert Light, though, already will make um, this a little better. <laughs> I didn't have enough money for all the light magic. Don't worry, don't worry Tashi. We'll, we'll get you there soon enough. Um, also, now that we have Bowmaster, I'm expecting double the arrows. Isn't that awesome? Freaking legal ass archer girl. Um, I mean, you've got... It, the bow doesn't do a ton of damage. What I'm really going to be looking for is, like, a magical bow. I forget even where they sell bows. It's something we should double check. Water, staff, chain... Oh yeah, I think we need chain too. 
Oh, uh, where we got? Oh, there it is. Okay. I think we've caught up on most of the skills I was looking for. We need Meditation Master. Arms Master Master. Actually, I think that one was back in uh, Dagger Wound. Did I pick up? No, we're not ready for Expert Leather. Grand Master Spear, Earth Magic. There's Master Arms Master. We actually will need Master ID item pretty soon. I think the only one we need here is Master Arms Master. I think, actually, we need Expert um, Regeneration, too, don't we? Yeah, we should pick that up. Let's, uh, just because I want to double check. It's pretty close by. I want to see uh, where they tell you the Expert Meditation is, because... Or the expert regeneration, because I have almost no idea. Iron Sand Desert. Okay, well, it's going to be a while before we go back there, probably. Ah! We could go fight that guy, I guess. I'm pretty sure there's a proper way to beat the pirates, though, other than uh, flying over to them. Although, that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> just fly over. We need, like, meteor shower, and then we just fly over and burn their ship like that. Expert bodybuilding? No one's ready for that yet. Extra HPs. It's actually much better once people are promoted too. It's another one that works based on that uh, class HP modifier. There we go. There you go, Galley, and that's that's where we start getting the big damage buff. Skill dam skill added to damage of all melee. So we just got plus nine damage to every hit. That's pretty awesome. Let's switch you back to this weapon. There you go. 37 to 52. You've definitely outpaced Christina now. And you're still not even at dual wielding plus Grandmaster Arms Master. That's going to be the, di the day. Alright. Uh, what are we missing? This is in the desert. That's done. Done. Not ready. Done. 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 Meditation Master. I should have checked where that was. We need Light Expert. No, we've got that. Actually, we're mostly caught up. This is pretty good. I think we're only missing... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only thing we're missing right now is Meditation Master, which is something I should try to get. Let's see. I picked this up in Ravenshore, I think. I should just ask them where the, uh, the, the Master is. Look, look at me. I remembered basically exactly where to click for that. That's crazy. First guess. Can I get the first building too? So, this is the master. He dwells in Murmurwood, which is actually where I want to go. So before we end this episode, we are going to travel up to Murmurwood because I want to buy some light magic with whatever spell... With whatever um, money we have left, I'd like to get a couple more light spells for Tashi. That way, um, well, I mean, she's only got Light Bolt, which is really anti-undead. Um, we, we need to start getting some more useful stuff. Similarly, I'm not going to really worry about clearing this area out for a while. I think this is a pretty high level area. Or, actually, I really have no idea. I just, I'm guessing. Priests. There's the light magic. Magical knowledge. So, is there any... First, let's pay for Meditation Master. I'm not sure... I'm not sure how much money we're going to have left over, basically. All that money I made, it's already gone. ID monster, repair item. Expert learning, yeah. Master light. Was it... Where's the Meditation? Ooh, I wonder if it's somewhere that's not inside. It's either a house that I didn't click on yet, or somewhere else on this map that I haven't explored. Let me double check that I've been everywhere. Because he said... He did say Murmurwood, right? When I, when I asked the guy back in Ravenshore? Pretty sure that was Meditation. Pretty sure. How do you even get into this house? 
Mind magic. Cleric promotion quest. We are going to get around to that before too long. I promise. Master light magic. That's still... We're not... We need... You need just another level up, basically. That's the bar. Expert learning. No one's... No one's ready for that. Just in case. So, where am I... See, I always miss these barrels. White? What is white again? It's like luck or something, isn't it? Yeah. I don't I don't think luck is like the least useful stat. But I want to get everyone to 25, so Galleon, there you go. Hmm. No wonder I never got Master Meditation. I don't actually know where the uh Good, we had enough for one of the potions. Sweet. This was the personality one? Yay, another quest out of the way. I forgot to double check all the places. There, there, I'm pretty sure there's one more uh, black potion quest that we haven't finished uh, as well. So that was lots of personality, more spell points. Although as you can see, not a whole lot. And 100, like the next break point is 25, so 125 I think, so it's tough. Dried sunfish. Huh. Alright, well, let's, uh... Unless it was inside of the, uh... The temple. But there wasn't really very much in here, was there? There's really, like, just one... There's one guy, and we can't really talk to him yet. I don't think there's anything else in this place at all. Alright, let's have a quick look around this map, see if there's like a building that I missed that's just out in the forest somewhere. I don't really want to fight stuff. Put Traveler's Boon up so we can see just how many red dots there are underneath us. I'm assuming we'll notice if there's an actual house. What the heck are all these? Tree stumps? Oh. What the heck is this? Enter the plane of air. No, no, we'll hold off on that, I think. I really just wanted the spell points for uh, Alias right now. I, I love being able to fly in these games. Oh, maybe this is it. Let's see what this is. Druid Circle. Hmm. It's possible that's where it is. It's possible that's just another dungeon, kind of like the Minotaur dungeon. Quick <laughs> through the middle. I like opening up the map a little bit too if we can. Hey, a well! Who wants to drink? Oh. It was bad. <laughs> Not so refreshing. What did that even do? Poisoned you. What well, could be a lot worse. We can fix that. <laughs> Sorry, Christina. Someone had to drink from that well quickly. Uh, it's body magic. Cure poison. We need cure disease as well. That's one of the ones we're missing. Oh. That was a... Was that a haste pedestal or something? I need I need to stop messing around. These whatever I'm fight, whatever is down there is very dangerous. There's a lot of magical damage we were taking there. I really you know I'm, I'm a little bit stubborn here. I'm trying to find a specific trainer, and uh, I'm gonna get my party killed for it. Probably nothing over these mountains. Let's check uh, the southeast, and then we'll call it a, a video, I suppose. I'm just looking for, like, a hermit hut or something. You never know. Oh, unicorns. Sure, we're being killed by... Oh, look at all the loot! Ah, uh, it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> we'll, we'll try to clear out the hordes of unicorns later on. <laughs> Holy smokes. That was a lot of unicorns. That was the personality fountain, yeah. No uh, town portal fountain here, sadly. Alright, well, I think that'll do. That will definitely do for now. Um, I didn't get what I was looking for for the meditation, but we've got all the other skills trained up. We've got... Um, we actually get to get one more level up, so let me... You know what would have been really cool? Is if I could have done this while we were in the Murmur Wood. And... Because that's where the Master Light trainer was. So, I could go get Master Light now. I know where it is, but uh, 
Oh, I forgot to look at the... <laughs> I have to go back. We have to go back. All right. Let's go back. I really wish we could teleport there, but... Can't win them all. We're going to get Light Master and then maybe buy another spell book for, uh, for Tashi. <laughs> I was going to spend my money on meditation, but Light Master seems kind of equally good. Kind of horrible timing for the, uh... I think we ran out of food there, actually. Whoops. Horrible timing to get a level up right before where we needed the skill points. Or right after. Yeah. So Master Light was... I think on the bottom row, yeah. Not that one. That one. I'm mm, trying to rush again. All right, getting into trouble. Four thousand gold. Bam. All right. So I think for t for Tashi, now we're gonna go for Spirit and Mind Master or Meditation Master, depending on if I ever find that trainer actually. And then eventually, once you've got all the magic at Master tier, then we'll go for like Mace Expert and maybe Shield Master. To be honest, maybe. You know, armor class is good, right? Uh, so let's have a quick look at the store, see if we can find some amazing light spells with the little bit of money we've got left. A library of magical knowledge. In fact, let's, uh, because I forget this all the time, glamour it up. A library of magical knowledge. <sighs> Day of the Gods would be really nice, but we can't afford it yet. Paralyze seems interesting. We've got light bolt. I don't know about summoning wisps, but maybe. This thing does a ton of damage to the undead. Like you thought light bolt was good. This would do two to eight damage to undead. This thing does one to 16 plus 16. That's really good. Sunray is also pretty solid. Second most devastating spell in the game, apparently. 20 plus one to 20 per point. But it only works outdoors during the day. And that's really expensive. <laughs> Prismatic light hits everything inside. Hour of power. Yeah, I, this is the one I really want, but I can't afford it. Haste, heroism, shield, stone skin, bless. So we've got chance to hit, damage, recovery speed, less damage from ranged attacks, and more armor class for everybody. That's pretty amazing spell. The Day of the Gods just gives you a ton of base attributes. It's good, but it doesn't make as big of a difference as Hour of Power, I think. Well, we don't really have enough money for anything besides the one. We'll pick, we'll pick that up. There you go. At least you can say I got you one new spell while we were here. It will serve. So, um, let's go have a little snooze. There is a tavern here, right? I need to buy some food, basically. Join the party. We have enough money, so it's fine. Good luck sleeping. Good luck sleeping. And let's, uh, let's just see what our little wispy friend looks like. I've never used a summon like this in these games. I, oh, right, I picked up, right. I thought I picked up the wisp, I picked up Destroy Undead. It's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, folks. So today was a kind of messing around day. We did a little bit of trading. We did some combat. Killed some skeletal dragons and some... Triton Warriors. Uh, next episode, we're going to focus a little bit more on um, questing and actually getting some progress. In Day of the Gods, how much does that give us? This one gives us 35 in all of our stats, I think, which is not bad. Um, that would be like, just for interest's sake, if we look at the spell. Oh, we don't have it yet. 35 points, I think it was like, that'd be level 7 times 5 in attributes for everybody, give or take. But, you know, as you get up higher level in light, I think, basically, that would be like if she cast it with uh, her current Lightmaster 7, I think. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day, as always.